This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Hey y'all, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. I know your girl is looking kind of rough, but some of y'all know I'm five months pregnant and you know, we keep it real over here. So that violin you hear playing in the background, that's my daughter. She plays the violin and that's why she doesn't get her nails done, so yeah but i went ahead and took my nails off these were the two-in-one dip powder nails that i did three weeks ago and this is all the growth i've gotten in three weeks like man it gotta be the pregnancy because my nails never grew this fast this is the same way i take my nails off with the acetone and the foils and all that if you guys didn't check out the last video i show y'all how i take off my poly gel nails but this applies to all of my nail extensions that's how i take them off but Anyway, I got some new products, as you guys can see. Packages on packages on packages. I got some new products from Poochie's Nails that I wanted to try out. She has some new pudding polish gel. I swear by her bling gel and top coat. I wanna try her whole system. So this is the monomer. And I have some acrylics in here as well. So yeah, I can't wait to get into these and show y'all what they look like. So this is everything that I was able to fit in the screen here, but this is most of my Poochie's Nails haul. So this is the Smooth Set Monomer. I got two jars of acrylic and the colors are Poochie Pink and Caramel Cover. Of course, we have the world famous Poochie's Bling Gel and Top Coat. You guys know this is my go-to when it comes to adhering my crystals and this is my absolute favorite gel top coat. Don't sleep on this top coat, it's the best. And then I have the number eight Poochie Snails 100% Kalinsky acrylic brush. I have some double-sided nail art brushes. I think this design is so cool. So on this end, I have the gel brushes. I believe the one that's pointy in the center is a 3D brush and the other two are gel brushes. And then we have the nail art liner brushes at the other end. And these are the Chrome Pen Pals. I think this is another cool idea. I have two colors and they are the gold and silver holographic chrome powder. So the chrome powder is in the cap and then you have the sponge applicator that makes it super easy to put on the chrome powder on your nails with less mess. And this little tool right here is the Poochie's Nails Drill Bit Cleaner. So as you guys know, I love this drill bit. This is my medium grit safety bit which is also from Poochie's Nails. <laughs> but um, when I try to clean this myself in between sets really quickly, I just use my dusting brush to try to get the dust off. And as you guys can see, some of it does come off, but it never gets 100%, especially when I'm working with poly gel, like it really gets like clogged up. So what you do with this is you kind of press it into, it's like a, like a putty, like a clay, and it really sticks to and removes the dust. Now it doesn't disinfect it, but it does clean the dust out. So that is a nifty tool. And then I have seven colors of the Poochie's Nails Pudding Polish Gel. And this consistency is like something I've never experienced before, um, but they're really cool. And these are the colors that I have. And then I also have some nail stickers. So I really like these flowers. I think I may use this for my nail design. Um, and then I have just some letters and then some designer nail stickers. So cool. You guys know I'm, I'm fancy bougie. <laughs> So these are my nails. And if you guys didn't see this set, these are the McCart Blue Poly Gel nails that I did about two weeks ago. And as you guys can see, they are still on. They are hanging on strong. I typically don't wear my nail designs this long, but your girl has been busy, so I ain't been able to really do my nails like I want. No lifting, so the poly gel is lasting. But if you didn't check this video out, I will definitely leave a link down below. All right, so these are my natural nails and I am just loving my length on these. So today I am not gonna cut my nails. Yes, you heard that right. So I will be using nail forms just so I don't have to cut my nails because if you use nail tips, you know, you probably have to cut your nails. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put my nail forms on. And after getting all of those on, we're just gonna do some swatches of the acrylic. First pouring out the monomer. 
So the first swatch I'm gonna do is of the Poochie's Pink Acrylic and I love this color and I love how easy the acrylic was just to pick up. Like that's how you know it's some good quality stuff. And this swatch is of the Caramel Cover. So these are the two colors side by side and I decided I'm gonna go with the Poochie's Pink for this nail design. It is just too gorgeous to pass up. <laughs> All right, so I've done my prep and pushing back the cuticles and all that stuff when I took my nails off. I'm just gonna go in with my prep. This is the Mia Secret Nail Prep, applying that to all of my nails. And then I'm going in with the Mia Secret Nail Primer. And then I'm just gonna go in with my first bead of acrylic. And right off the bat, this stuff is so amazing to work with. Like, I love that it gives you enough time to mold it without it drying out, um, but it also doesn't slide all over the place. And I'm using the number eight Poochie Snails brush. And as you guys know, when you are using a new brush, it kinda does take some time to get used to, but this was pretty easy to work with as well. And as far as the monomer, um, it didn't really have a strong smell to me. It was actually less smelly than the Mia Secret. And that's the one that I've been using since I've been pregnant because, you know, when you're pregnant, your nose just smells everything and it's just, it's just on overdrive. But this monomer didn't really bother me at all. So it will be one that I will use more often because the smell was really not that bad. So I'm just gonna do this with all of the nails. So while I'm doing that, I just want to pop in and see if you guys have subbed to our vlog channel. That is where we post, you know, other things besides nails. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in keeping up with me and the hubby, I'll leave a link to our vlog channel down below. And as with any new system, it does take some time to, you know, kind of get used to the powder to liquid ratio. So by the time I got to my index fingernail, I was on the roll. As you guys can see, this bead is just pliable and I'm able to mold it where I want it to be without it hardening up very fast. And I just love this acrylic. It is so, so easy to work with. So I use as many beads as it takes to form the nail and I love that this acrylic blends very well with itself. You can't tell where one bead ends and one bead starts so that's what I like about this because some acrylic does kind of show a line where you put different beads. That depends on how fast it hardens and all that good stuff so this was really easy to work with. <laughs> So for my first cuticle bead there, when I film, I sit back a little far away from my nails, so I wasn't able to see that I wasn't close enough. So I went in with a second cuticle bead just to make sure I get really close and tight. That is one thing that I'm working on is just trying to make my cuticle areas as perfect as possible. And it has just been years of practice. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm just going in and building up the nail with the right thickness and all of that good stuff. So after getting all the acrylic laid, I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and set. Just give it a tap to make sure everything is hardened. And then I'm gonna take them off the nail forms. So this is what the nails are looking like. A little crazy, but we're gonna fix that with our shaping and filing. <laughs> so I'm starting off with my hand file on the 100 grit side, and I'm just gonna do my shaping and filing. So 
So this is after doing the shaping and filing with the hand file. And I'm just gonna take my medium grit safety bit and work this around the cuticle area just to seal in that cuticle area to make everything nice and tight and flush. So this is after doing all of the cuticle areas and now I'm going to go in with the 180 side of the nail file and file the surface of each nail to get out any scratches that the nail drill leaves behind and also to get the scratches out from the 100 grit side that I started filing with. So I forgot to show this in the haul. This is the Poochie's Nails buffing bit. It's supposed to replace your buffer for like nail techs to make their service faster. It, you know, it buffs the nail with the e-file. So I am not a pro when it comes to the e-file. I'm still learning and it's really not something I just grab like that. So although this may work for others, I just prefer the buffer and this is just what I like to do and it ensures that I'm not gonna cut myself because yes, that still happens. All right, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped and buffed and I'm just loving the color and the shape. So I decided to go with this purple pudding polish gel. I think this is a beautiful color and it goes perfectly with these flower stickers. So I'm gonna use these. And I also have some butterfly stickers in my stash that I wanna use as well. So after setting up my area, this is what the pudding polish looks like. It's very uh, viscous, like it doesn't run all over the place, but it's not, thick like it's a soft gel when you get to painting with it it's really hard to explain but I really like the texture of it and a little goes a long way so I just use a small amount and then I add more as I need it so I'm just doing a freehand French tip And I use the rounded brush to clean up around my French tip to crispen that up. And I did the same thing for the index fingernail. So after curing, I'm just gonna go in with my second coat of the pudding polish. And cure. So I wanna do a line here. So I'm gonna use the nail art side of the brush. As you guys can see, I'm not able to get a very straight, consistent line with this. So I'm gonna switch over to my Red Iguana Nail Art Liner and load that up. And I'm able to get a nice, smooth line from this. So I'm just gonna do a border around the whole nail. And I must say, I really like how the pudding polish stays in place. That's kind of one thing I don't like about using gel as like nail art because sometimes it does run, um, but you know, this stays where you put it and it makes the nail art process so much easier. So after curing, I went ahead and did that for the middle finger and the thumb. So now for these nail stickers. I'm gonna use these PS Star tweezers. They were so kind enough to send me a PR box of their nail tools. And of course you can never have enough tweezers. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to help me. I'm just gonna peel this off the paper and place it where I want it to be. And man, I am so behind. These nail art stickers are the truth. They are like very, very thin um, because I hate dealing with like water decals because it's just too much extra stuff to do. <laughs> but with these nail art stickers, like man, y'all gonna get tired of seeing these because I'm gonna use these all the time. So 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and place these where I want them to be. And this is after doing all of the nail stickers. I have my flower and butterfly power going on here. So I wanted to try something a little different for me. So I'm gonna start with the Kiara Sky Velvet Matte Gel Top Coat. And I'm just gonna put that on the ring fingernail and the middle fingernail. And this is after curing. And then I'm gonna take the Poochie's Nails Gel Top Coat and place a little bit of that on my mixing plate. Taking the nail art brush, I'm just gonna outline the flower. and I cured that. And then I'm gonna go in with the Silver Holographic Chrome Pen Pal and rub that on the flower. And it should only stick to where the glossy gel polish is. And Bruh. that was not what was in my vision. <laughs> <laughs> that did not turn out like I wanted it to. So I went ahead and wiped that off with some alcohol and then I buffed the nail to get rid of the shiny gel top coat. And I'm just gonna put some bling on because that's just what I do. So <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the new formulation of the bling gel. The one I was using was very, very old. <laughs> but um, as you guys can see, this one is clear and I really like the clear ones because you can put this on top of anything, especially clear nails without it tinting. Um, this was actually the formula of the bling gel when I first started using it years ago. I'm glad she got back to this one. I mean, the other one worked as well, but I love the clear gel. So I just apply the bling gel to the whole nail. And then without caring, I apply the gel top coat on top. Making sure to clean around the cuticles. And then I go ahead and place my crystals into the wet gel. And went ahead and cured that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds. After getting the rest of the crystals on and doing my final cure, I'm just gonna apply my cuticle oil. And here is the finished look. These nails turned out so cute. At first, I had no idea what I was gonna do, but I like them and I really like the nail stickers. <laughs> so yeah, I really do like the Poochie's Nails Acrylic. As I stated, it was very easy to work with. The monomer didn't smell very strong to me and the number eight Kalinsky brush worked great. So if you guys are interested in any of these products, I'll be sure to leave the links down below. I hope this nail tutorial was helpful and I will talk to you in the next one. This is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show, yeah.